to Zechariah chapter 3. You remember that the angel of the Lord was standing in front of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, whose cloth was said to have been defiled. And Satan was standing to resist him. And the angel of the Lord answered Satan and said, The Lord rebuked thee. Even the Lord who had chosen Jerusalem. I thought that it was Joshua. He should have said, you have said, even the Lord who has chosen Joshua. But there is a status a man carries in the spirit where the man becomes a people. Let me see if you get it. So Satan was contending for Joshua. God was saying that the choice of Joshua is the choice of Jerusalem. That means to give you Joshua is to give you Jerusalem. Aha. Uh -huh. But Satan had a legal right, Pastor T. What was the legal right? His cloth was stained. And you know that nobody can stand before God with a stained cloth. So God, who the cloth is supposed to be stained before to reject, said change his cloth. But when he was rebuking Satan, he said, the Lord rebuke you, even the Lord who had chosen Jerusalem. He said, for is this not a brand firewood plucked out of fire? Stop. When we were in secondary school, when we were foolish small children, we used to pray, Lord, make me a brand plucked out of fire. I've grown older. Let me tell you simply what God was saying. All flesh is grass. And because it is grass, it has the power to be ignited by the fires of that which is godless. But when God comes and wants to save a man, you know, do not be deceived. Evil company. So, if we company together and hold each other, please come, for you. Come, let's hold each other. Uh, elbow to elbow. No, cover it. Cover the circle. Oh. If we hold each other like this, if we are on fire, the fire will burn hard and fast. Do you understand me? Yeah. Now, when God makes a choice in a man, all he needs to do is, okay, four of you hold, so that I can do the illustration. So the fire is burning. Have you ever seen fire wood together like that? Who the fire is burning. If God makes a choice in Pastor Ugo, what God does is he comes, snatches him out of here. This fire continues burning. But he remembers our friend. He knows that we are dust. Because even though this is plucked out of fire, it still has the smoke and the red flames of the fact that it was taken out of fire. God will not let Satan lay a claim on you because you have flames here. He always permits you time in his mercy to outgrow the flames. Because it is only a matter of time. If he stays disconnected from this yoke, the fire will ultimately die. So when God said to Satan, is this not a brand plucked out of fire? He was saying to Satan, you have to excuse that stain on his cloth. Because we took him out of his humanity. For every priest is taken from among men. So that he can be merciful to their infirmity. So when God called Joshua, a brand plucked out of fire, God was acknowledging that because we took him out of humanity, within the context of a time of investment, within the context of a time of investment, Seasons are left open for him to deal with his humanity. And in the dealing of his humanity, even heaven does not permit Satan to hold him ransom by reason of the manifestation of his humanity. That means that, that he's still having the pangs of his natural body. It's not supposed to be a discouragement. It's supposed to be a smell of hope. So some of you don't know how to say before. I used to sleep with five men. And I sleep with five men twice every day. Now, God has kept me for four months. After four months, I saw a guy. Something inside of me came alive. You know what Satan uses those moments for Pastor David? Guilt, shame, 
and condemnation. A girl has kept away from sex for four months. She managed to get into a room because she didn't have the wisdom to know how to flee. And then something happens. Then Satan sits upon the guilt of that and makes you feel like you are now useless in the hand of God. His real target is to tell you, since God does not have use to, for you, just go back. But if you stand there and you say to him, there's therefore now. Please take note of the fact that I said within the context of a spiritual time of investment. Because there's a point in investment that God gets to in your life that even he does not expect certain outcomes. Does it make sense? I said it so that Satan will not kill you. You know, wake up one day and just die. Many people have abandoned their spiritual pursuit because they woke up one day and felt like I'm too much of a disappointment to God. What is killing you is Satan, not God. And what Satan is sitting upon to kill you is your pride. If you remember that you were saved by grace, then you will know that that grace is still available today to cleanse you. Into your presence you called us. You called us to come. Into your presence you draw us. Now I there's a sense of fulfillment I feel here now. There is nobody in their spiritual work that has not gotten bread tonight. Whether the weak, the childish, the strong, the spiritual, the high, the low, everybody has gotten a piece of bread for where they are tonight. This satisfaction makes that I can, I can close. Thank you, sirs. Please sit down.